Hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel and the topic is pediatric sleepwalking or sleepwalking in children you know and but before starting this topic I would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition and uh, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and the link for the website is just below this video in the description area so you can click that link to visit the website and please do not uh, forget to subscribe this channel uh, to support it and uh, you now we come to the topic what is uh, sleepwalking in children you know or epidemic sleepwalking you know you know it is when a child gets up during the sleep but uh, is unaware of their actions you know and uh, it's also known as uh, uh, somnambulism you know which is a medical name, you know, and uh, it's most commonly seen in children between the ages of four and uh, eight years, you know, four to eight years in that age span, you know. And the most children uh, who sleepwalk, uh, they do so uh, an hour or two after falling asleep, you know. And uh, sleepwalking episodes, uh, they unusually lost from five to somewhere between 15 minutes you know and this behavior is typically harmless and the most children grow out of it you know uh, but it can be dangerous if it's left uh, unaddressed you know and it's important to protect your child from injury as a result of sleepwalking you know so you can take certain steps to avoid the injuries uh, there are a number of factors uh, that can contribute to sleepwalking and the common causes include like uh, fatigue or lack of sleep, uh, irregular sleeping habits, uh, stress, anxiety, uh, illness uh, like fever you know and certain medications uh, including like sedatives you know are the stimulants and uh, antihistamines you know. Uh, well, which cause the drowsiness, etc. You know, and certain genetic factors like uh, family history of sleepwalking. Uh, so these are the contributing factors. You know, uh, it's uncommon, but sometimes uh, sleepwalking can be symptom of any uh, underlying condition. You know, like. Uh, sleep apnea or maybe migraines or night tram uh, like uh, terrors you know uh, restless leg syndrome or maybe head injuries you know uh, you know walking during the sleep uh, may be the most common symptom of uh, sleep walking you know uh, but there are other actions associated with the condition like uh, uh, sitting up in bed and repeating the motions you know or maybe getting up and walking around the house uh, talking during the sleep you know uh, like not responding when spoken to you or maybe making clumsy movements you know or urinating you know uh, like in an inappropriate places you know uh, performing routine or repetitive behavior such as uh, opening and closing the doors you know uh, so these are the common symptoms of sleepwalking uh, usually in the process of diagnosis your doctor uh, will ask the questions uh, from the close family members you know about the child's behavior you know and the symptoms and uh, any problems you know most of the time you don't need any treatment and your doctor may wish to conduct a physical and uh, like psychological tests you know to rule out the other conditions that can cause the sleepwalking you know and if another medical uh, uh, problem is not causing the sleepwalking you know uh, uh, then you may not determine but if there is any other underlying cause you know then you may need to address that uh, underlying issue you know and uh, in case when your doctor suspects uh, another sleep problem you know such as sleep apnea or maybe the night terrors you know uh, in 
that case he may advise the sleep study you know and uh, the sleep study involves like spending the night in a sleep lab you know and the electrodes are attached to the certain parts of your body you know and to measure the heart rate uh, brain waves uh, breathing rate uh, muscle tension uh, eye and leg movements oxygen levels in the blood so for that purpose you need to stay in the lab for night you know so all these uh, activities will be measured during the sleep and uh, in case when the sleep is troublesome your doctor may recommend uh, uh, using certain techniques like uh, uh, scheduled awakening you know so what does it mean is that uh, you know it involves uh, monitoring your child for a few nights to determine when the sleep walking occurs and when uh, like arousing your child from sleep 15 minutes before the like uh, uh, that uh, expected sleep walking you know and this can help uh, arrest the child's sleep cycle and control sleep walking behavior you know so it's a, a very useful kind of um, uh, uh, treatment you know or part of treatment you know and if sleepwalking is causing uh, dangerous behaviors or excessive fatigue you know uh, your doctor may prescribe medications such as uh, uh, like psychoactive drugs typically uh, to treat the anxiety you know so or maybe antidepressants you know so your doctor will prescribe these kind of medications in, uh, in that case you know now if you notice your child sleepwalking, uh, try to gently guide him back to the bed, you know. And do not try to wake uh, the sleepwalker, right? And uh, as this could, uh, like, uh, aggravate them, you know, so make them aggressive, you know, maybe. Instead, simply resume your child with the words and help to steer them back to bed, you know. So, uh, this is the best approach, you know. And... Uh, there are some safety measures that you can take uh, to avoid any kind of injuries, you know, like uh, uh, closing and uh, locking all the doors and windows at night, you know, uh, installing the alarms or the doors and the um, windows or uh, installing like locks out of your child's reach, you know, uh, removing items from uh, that could be like... Uh, hazard you know or removing the sharp or the breakable objects from around the child's bed from the doorways you know so uh, or uh, don't let your child to sleep in the bunk bed you know because he can fall down you know uh, and turning down the temperatures on the hot water heaters to prevent the burns you know or uh, keep the keys out of reach of your children so these are the uh, steps you can uh, take to avoid any kind of the injuries which can be caused by the sleepwalking you know uh, the next thing is is it possible to prevent the sleepwalking well helping your child develop good sleep <coughs> habits you know it helps to prevent you know and uh, the other options are like uh, going to bed at the same time every night, uh, creating a dark, quiet, and comfortable sleep environment, uh, and avoid the like caffeine and the sugar before the bedtime. So these are the measures you can take, and they help to prevent or yeah, reduce the risk of uh, sleepwalking. You know. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www. Diseases and treatment.com and please do not uh, forget to like subscribe and share these videos thank you goodbye